Welcome back to Las Vegas Now. The Supreme Court will begin reviewing the Affordable Care Act lawsuit on November 10th. That's tomorrow. Here to tell us more is Patrick Castle from the MultiCare Group. Patrick, good to see you again. Good to see you again. So first off, give us a, a brief summary of the lawsuit. Essentially, because of the individual mandate went away, uh, the government is now being challenged by the Texas courts that this law is no longer constitutional. Texas and, and in California is fighting against it. The interesting thing is now that the individual mandate is taken out, it may not necessarily be constitutional, and essentially they could do away with the entire health care law. The thing that's really interesting about this is that now we have a transition in president. The same people who put forth the Affordable Care Act will be back to fix it all over again. And the sad part is the premiums have gone up 400 percent. So we have to hope that they realize they put together a health care plan that's very expensive. And this year, out of pockets are up to eighty five hundred and fifty dollars. That is not affordable for the average person. So, so you probably answered the question there, but how, how would the election of Joe Biden change this lawsuit? Well, the, the lawsuit is impro They can't change the lawsuit. That lawsuit's going forth, just like the new law that passed about transparency can't be changed. So essentially what's going to happen now is you're going to see this go to court and probably around April, maybe May, we'll get a decision. And when we hit that decision, let's say they get rid of it. Well, that doesn't mean people are going to lose their insurance and there's going to be immediately pre-existing pre plans. It probably won't take place until 23. But between now and 2023, it'll allow those people in leadership to come up with a health plan that might work. The question is, will they be able to develop health plans that are more affordable? and give us better provider access nationally versus being subjected to Clark County only, as well as give us plans with lower exposure, because now 8,500, and every year they're going up, because next year in 22, it'll be 8,800. So Patrick, about 30 seconds, uh, the, the last question for you is, is people with pre-existing conditions, do they have anything to worry about with this lawsuit and everything that's taking place? They didn't have anything to worry about whether Trump was president, Joe Biden's president, or Barack Obama's president again. No, no, no worries at all. You'll definitely have coverage that'll cover pre-existing. I appreciate it, Patrick. It's always great uh, talking with you. And again, real quick, you said when, when can we expect the ruling on this? This won't happen until maybe April the earliest, probably June the latest. So we have some time on this thing. Yes, sir. All right. Thank you so much, Patrick. We truly appreciate it. The MultiCare Group clients are provided personalized services and are there to maximize your benefits when you need them. Call them at 702-396-9449 or visit the MultiCareGroup.com. Mercedes?